Previously on the Cruising Kiwis. A lightning strike to the mast disabled our electronics. Raymarine Tridata, Raymarine Wind, Raymarine P70S controller, which is the yeah. autopilot controller. But we looked on the bright side of adversity with a quick parody of our plight. I felt my to tighten. And this week. No autopilot, no problem. I've been sailing three minutes. And I'm already over it. <laughs> Steering. <laughs> Steering? What's that all about? Far out. Rob goes too far. Rob has simply gone too far. And Finn returns to the boat. This is Rob. And I'm Rachel. And these are our boys. Finn. Declan. And Ivan. We have sailed our catamaran Javelot across the Pacific Ocean. We would love it if you join us for the adventure. boat five years and I've never learned to steer it. We always use the auto helm. <sighs> you and 99% of all the other crews. So life goes on on our lightning damaged boat. We've got the quote here of uh, our repairs. But I've been looking up lightning statistics and there were three other boats in the same storm further up the river but all got hit by lightning on that day. And the statistics are you have a 1 in 12,000 chance of being hit by lightning one in eight million chance of winning lotto. So far more likely to be hit by lightning. None of us were hurt. In Australia, 10 people die every year from being hit by lightning and 100 are injured. So we're very lucky in that respect. And over a two year period in Australia alone, uh, between 2013 and 2014, 830,000 lightning strikes hit land, ground strikes. So, yeah, if you want to get hit by lightning, this is the place to come, as it turns out. And that's because of uh, the Gold Coast and Brisbane's geographical position. It's where the warm air of the tropics comes down and the cold air from the south comes up and they meet around about here so over the period beginning of summer lots of electrical storms and in fact we actually got stuck in the middle of a lightning strike on our way over from New Caledonia we had to take some evasive action so we've got a scary situation here we've just been looking at thunder and lightning storms down south approaching Brisbane but man it's just suddenly come up towards us and it seems like we're surrounded we actually started the motors we're turning heading due north to try and get further. It's like, man, it's coming really quickly. And there's some just lots of bolts going straight down. It's all over the place. So Rach, we've pulled the main in. 
pulled the Janara in. Amazing, eh? A little bit scary. A little One bit minute scary. watching it from afar, and the next minute it's coming at you. It so, just swung so yeah. quickly and now it's raining and the rain's just started. The motor's on, let's get out of here. Yeah. So we're right at the air and a little bit too close for comfort. Yeah. So let's roll. So that was so bring and so is our quote. So I'll tell you that all our navigational system is out. We have no autopilot, no depth sound and no wind generator, no navigational lights, no mast lights, no uh, any external lights which has mean which means we've had to change our idea of what we're going to do. Without our navigation system we can't go anywhere really so uh, we haven't worked out what we're going to do but we certainly aren't going to Sydney anymore we're going to have to stay around this area. Um, Another thing we've lost is our Vespa AIS transponder, six months old, gone. Um, our solar power, this is a big problem. We can't generate, we generate our own power. We no longer can generate our own power. Our solar panels, we have two banks. Half of one bank is still working and one wind generator is still putting some power in. But on days when we have cloud and no wind, we use our um, starboard engine to gen uh, to charge the batteries. That's no longer charging the batteries. The alternators on both engines are gone, so there's no charging back. We are on low, low power. We cannot generate the power. And some might say we're not using a lot of power because everything's broken. But still, our our very expensive batteries need to be uh, charged, and they're not being. So we need to find a source of regular power for them. What else is on here? So the rigging needs inspecting. That's uh, because it took a direct hit. And I guess what we're very lucky in that when it takes a hit, the lightning comes in and it's got to come out somewhere. It's got to find ground. And it can blow a hole in the hull. That hasn't happened. We're not taking on water. It either escaped through our anchor chain, because we were anchored at the time, or it um, went through the sail drives so it certainly didn't go through the hull which is that's a good thing that's a plus it's a positive but we got a pretty big bill here so sitting down everybody because this is the ballpark figure we don't know that this this isn't the end figure because some things that were working a couple of days ago aren't working now our freezer has given up on us it was working after this lightning strike it doesn't work now there are several lights that were working before, not working now. So, and that's apparently what happens. Anyway, the number is, roll on the drum, 53,987 dollars and 45 cents Australian dollars. So, that's pretty sobering. Uh, Anyway, Rob will tell you more about it when he gets here. He's on his way back from New Zealand. Just filling out the form here, and one of the questions says, do you have any criminal convictions? I actually didn't know you'd still need them to get into Australia. Anyway, I better say no, just in case. What do you we the Australian Drug Police interrupt this episode because we feel Rob has simply gone too far. We'd like to reassure you that we adore everything Australian. Like Russell Crowe. Oh, I'm so sorry, I'm going to have to get this. Hello, Russell. Oh. So you're born in Wellington. Okay. Okay, thank you. Bye, love you. Well, the other Aussie I love is Keith Urban. Oh, sorry, I'm so embarrassed. Sorry, i got to dissect this. Russell, I'm in the middle of something. Oh, oh, right. So he's born in Auckland. Didn't he do it oh. okay. Well, let's try food. We've got the classics. We've got the lamington, pavlova. We've got the meat pies. We've got the... Oh, sorry, I really am sorry. 
What did I just tell you? They're all made in New Zealand. You sure? Okay. Well, are we still on for drinks tonight? Okay. Usual spot? Cool. cool. Love you. No, I do. No, I love you more. Yeah. No, no, I do. I do. Love you. Love you. Well, we love Australians. Just couldn't eat a whole one. Time to head north, get some more things checked out on the boat. First lifting of the anchor since the lightning. lightning. So yeah. the engines are going. My concern is the batteries, we've got a battery warning light. Rev cam is not working. The, the, um, the batteries are not being charged, I don't believe. Now the question is, running the engines, do they need the batteries to have energy to keep the engines going? I don't really know if there's any little um, no, can... Surely it's just to turn them on. Surely it's just to turn them on. Um, yeah, I don't know. No auto helm though, Rachel. Always going to have to be steering all the way back. Woo! What? We didn't sign up for this. Sailing and having to steer as well. Yeah. Okay. Sailing three minutes and I'm already over it. <laughs> steering. <laughs> steering? What's that all about? Far out. How no. dare they? No. I don't know how Captain, what's his name? Captain Bain. Captain Bain, how did he hang on the wheel for so long? Oh. Who's Captain Bain? I need one. Huh? I need one. Kills you? I could kill all you. I told you to look at that halyard. Go on, jump to it. James O'Neiden and uh, Cam Bain. Yeah, whatever. Goodbye. Goodbye, Surfers Paradise and Gold Coast. We'll be back bigger and brighter and shinier and newer in many respects. Normally we would have somebody on watch because we're going to now passageways here on the river but we'd have the auto helm going. We haven't had an awful lot of practice with our steering. If things get difficult it's usually Rob or Finn who do the work. So the rest of us are a little bit slack up with our steering because when we're out at sea we have the auto helm on 99% of the time. So I think it's good, been a good exercise. I really feel in the couple of hours that I've been doing this that I've really progressed. Is that even on? I <laughs> think getting any of this. <laughs> we'll take it in turns all the way down the river and there's a lot of play in our wheel. A lot of play before the steering actually kicks in. So it's really easy to oversteer and then you've got to overcorrect and overcorrect and overcorrect and yeah. you're going left, right and centre. I'm, I don't know if I could bring us into a, a marina yet, but yeah, it's been fun. Highly enjoying being at the steering wheel. It's very good for us all. Good for me. Good for Rob. Now he feels that we're more reliable. He won't let me take the boat anywhere <laughs> on my own. Thumbs. Now I can see I'm actually, actually doing a good job. Yes? I'm having a nectarine. I think that's a yes. You may or may not be able to hear behind me there's a sound like a little, it's actually a generator. Uh, it's a little Yamaha generator that it's an emergency thing and it turns out we've got a bit of an emergency because our alternators on both engines have um, gone down through the lightning strike so when the engines run they're not charging the batteries now the, the port engine has one battery 
that starts the engine and that is the sole purpose of that battery now if we're running the engine because it's not charging back into the battery the alternator's gone um, eventually the engines could stall because the battery is being used during the operation of the engine doing various bits and pieces I'm not sure what so right now I'm charging that singular battery the starboard side is okay because we've got the house bank of batteries that are being charged by one of the um, wind generators and one bank of the solar panels we believe is still charging so there's getting a little bit of charge and that is actually operating our fridge and freezer which have had temporarily repaired temporarily <laughs> um, so that's it just for your information a little update on the insurance now what happened was we when we first took out our insurance we had to name some countries that we thought we'd travel to we did not name Australia in that list um, the plans changed and here we, are, here we are in Aussie now because I hadn't put it on the list we had to get new insurance out when we got here and uh, hence we were unsure if we had got cover it was literally four or five days ago that we um, got the insurance taken out um, just waiting for the premium to be paid um, and hence the concern when I was still in New Zealand um, turns out the broker has said it's all good it's all fine just pay the premium and we can continue the uh, process you know the process is we put an application in and then they come back and say well do this this and this it's still a long way to go but it sounds like the insurance is going to be okay They come up again, come up higher. Yeah. Okay, so we're just we're just coming up to the power lines that we came under, which are a little bit scary because yeah, yeah, yeah. it, we're very close. Well, well, we've got nothing to lose now. We've got no electric. We've done enough. Well, we've done enough, <laughs> well, enough yes. electricity for one day. Yeah, we so, don't. We really yeah. don't want to hit them. But really? if we did, it wouldn't make much difference because everything's blown on this boat anyway. Oh, that's good. Then that's good. Wait. Oh, okay. Um, let's not hit anything. Have we all got our rubber shoes on? Oh man! Oh, they just look. It looks really close. Oh, that's right. Keep it right, mate. Whoa! Okay, starboard, Rach. Starboard. Beauty, beauty, beauty. We made it. Survived another lightning potential. Yeah. We've left the Gold Coast of Brisbane. First stop, Raby Bay Marina to top up on diesel and water. Declan and Ivan to get a haircut. I feel so much more free. No here, no here, no here. You saw him, And Rob to borrow Ginny's car to surprise Finn, who was returning for the festive season. But first, someone had to dock the boat at the marina. Looks pretty flash in here, actually. I think we uh, kind of fit the community vibe quite well. What do you think, Dex? Do we kind of, is this sort of our thing? It's kind of sort of our thing, you know. It is kind of our we thing. We kind of rock up and we're like, hey guys, we're part of your community now. Get em used to it. Embrace us, please. Like we embrace other communities and cultures. Yeah. This is a different culture. We're a different culture. You're a different culture. Embrace us. Oh, yeah, it's a driveway or a waterway. It's actually a driveway. For some people, some people call it a waterway, but other people, like some people, would call that a waterway, a driveway. It's a driveway. Anyway, what do you think, Dex? Looking good? Yeah, I think I'm really good at this. I think you're good at this. You're doing well. Sailing. We are sailing. We are sailing. Fender's on starboard, okay? That's where we're going. Into there, Rachel. So you see where to go? I see where we're going, and it's straight in, which isn't so difficult. However, having said that, now you've got to, you've got to judge your speed. You've got to judge yeah. your speed. You've got to judge your speed. That's so you exactly it. Yeah. Look at me driving into a marina. <laughs> I've never done this. This is a first. How's your speed, you reckon? My speed is a little fast. You reckon? No. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> You're driving. I think I am. I'm just asking the question. Yeah, I think you should. Yeah, neutral. All right. Back into neutral. Yeah, I got this. 
fluids? I don't know. No, Declan's got it. Uh, Rachel's got it. That's going to take over if I have to. Yeah, that's pretty good there. Just yeah, you've got a nice drift on, nice drift on, Rich. Yeah, so go, so yeah, so the winds, Blaff, the winds pushing us across there too. So turn, turn to port, turn to port quite a bit. Okay, engage starboard, engage starboard, quick. Yep, I'm going to turn up. That's fine. You can turn back later. You just don't want to come into that corner there. Okay, it's pretty good there. Yeah, come back again. Straighten up and neutral. Neutral. Fender over. Oh no, you got it. That's right. How are we going to slow down? Well, you'll put it in the reverse at the right time, yeah. which is when. Tell me when. Now. I reckon probably now wouldn't hurt. Well, we just need to get closer so the boys can jump off. So maybe the wind will take us across. That's okay. Maybe it will. Maybe it just neutral. Neutral. Ivan. Neutral. Okay, quick, quick. Neutral. Quick. Neutral. Yep. Back then, dive into the water from here. No, the wind is going to take us one way or the other. <laughs> you might have to jump off the side here, yep, Dave. going forward on port still? No. no. Uh, ooh, oh, okay. Ouch. Okay, you can neutral, yeah. He'll pull it. Yep. Oh, oh yeah. Work. Wouldn't want to do that on a windy day, though. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, that was yeah. all right. Yeah. I think that was probably the easiest um, anchorage to come into. Or birth it's quite a nice little bit. Mm. No, I thought it was, very... it was a scale of 10, I think it was about a 9 for difficulty, Rachel. <laughs> no. It wasn't, but it wasn't, but still, I did it. You did it. And I did it in my talks. No. Upskilling. In many respects that we're yet to discover, the changes to our plans and the adaptions that we are having to make due to the lightning strike may turn out to be a blessing. One of which, our return to Brisbane, facilitated a lunch date for a first time meeting with a lovely family who have been completing their own adventures. The four wheel drive family afloat. Erin and Ramsey are funny and innovative, having bought the world the ultimate car security system, the jock lock. It's just mud people. Erin promoted us after one of our very first episodes, saying she thought we would be one of the next biggest sailing vloggers. It was so kind, so encouraging, and so very wrong. But we love you anyway, Erin, especially after the greeting we received. Everyone should get a welcome like this every once in a while. Thanks today, tomorrow, and always. Stop my car! One, two, three! Oh, I don't know. Oh, too much. Go, go again, go again. Just go up, the, just get up alongside. Pretty good, mate. Good yeah. <laughs> hey boys, have a good one. Get yeah, too bro. Rachel's going for a spin. Ah. <laughs> oh. I was the confession booth. If you enjoyed this episode, please comment, give us a thumbs up, and best of all, share it. It helps us heaps.